Good afternoon, Rabbi. Uh, good afternoon. How is life, Rabbi? Uh, by His divine grace. Thanks be to God. Well, uh, I'm here to discuss one or two things with you. But before then, I would like you to introduce yourself. Uh, my name is uh, Rabbi Alfred Afo, or Prophet Alfred Afo. I'm the founder of the African Ark Ministry. Yahweh Temple and co-founder of the Sacred Order of Malachi, Melchizedek Temple. Can you tell us a little about the African Art Ministry? Yes, the African Art Ministry uh, is more or less like a spiritual church or what is known as a, a New Age church. We are into uh, teaching of the doctrines of Christ and then we are also into training and research and we are also into spell casting we cut across all these areas what kind of people do you train uh, virtually the doors are open to anyone from any religion can be trained at our center we do training for anyone anyone provided the person can read and write Oh, okay. That would have been my next question. I wanted to know if one has to get some special educational qualification before one can train at your center. Uh, the only the only prerequisite is that ability to read and write. Because virtually most of our teachings uh, is in English language and you should be able to read the English language uh, and communicate in the English language. How long is one expected to train? Uh, well, uh, it depends on each individual because some people are very quick in learning and while others are slow. But I think six months will be enough for anyone to train. I must also mention that we do online coaching, which is done by myself. I do online coaching. I mean, those who are into ministry, both home and abroad, who cannot come to our center, I really do online coaching for them by guiding them for just a small fee. Can you name your price? Uh, well, I think a hundred dollars is what I take for the coaching. Yes, I co I'll coach for one week. I think uh, thirty minutes each for one week. For hundred dollars, I think it's, it's the cheapest you can get. <laughs> yeah, online, uh, okay, Facebook, WhatsApp, which? No, we, we do it uh, by phone. Oh, okay. You understand? Yes. Okay. We call and I I teach by on the phone. Okay. So if I understand correctly, one doesn't need any spiritual qualification before no, one can don't. come. You oh, don't need you. any spiritual qualification because we we'll really start you from the basics and we we'll try to help you uh, climb. Okay, Rebbe. I know people also come to you for consultation when they have spiritual problems. Yes. What are some of the problems that you help people with? As for the problem, they vary. There are plenty of them. Some can bring court cases. Others bring their marriage cases, love cases. Um, job cases. Uh, yes, it, it varies. Some people want to travel. Travel cases, they will not be getting the uh, opportunity to travel because of visa delayance and everything. Actually, anything that the angels can do, we can also do it because in our work, we inculcate the angels. You see, I always say that the angels are such that each and every angel has got its own department and speciality. So we we'll involve the angel, uh, the particular angel, in the particular field that it can excel. For example, if uh, someone wants his business to flourish, uh, we can bring in Netoniel, Divachia, Tidikea, and Parasiel who is Lord of uh, Wealth and Money, to help the person's business to flourish. Oh, wow. So we have angels for almost every activity yes. on this earth. Yes. The truth of the matter is that uh, 
the angels it's not as if they are just grouped like that every angel has got its own department of speciality when you take the archangel Raphael, his speciality is that of health and then uh, sickness and healing in fact it is said that where he is not present he is not present it's difficult to to receive healing because all, he ensures that we get good health and we are healed walls like the archangel michael ensures a protection for us it shows protection and then uh, things that co uh, involves communication it is the archangel gabriel that ensures it so that is his speciality you understand uh -huh. so the angels have got their speciality so in working with them or in the administration you must know the particular angel which rule the particular area you desire so that uh, the job becomes quicker because you know for all what you know if you need help you won't go to ministry of education for help no you have just missed the target you understand so you must have an angel who is in charge of education if you need education to you go to the uh, minister uh, the angel who is in charge of education if you need help you go to the angel who is in charge of health that is it that is it wow that's refreshing to hear uh, i'm becoming curious about these angels and what they do do you have apart from the angels we've mentioned do you have other angels can you tell us some yes thing more about angels and what they do the angels are in two 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 parts we have angels who are beings of light the angels who are fallen angels they are beings of darkness uh, which one you desire to choose is your own choice it's a choice but <clears throat> in this our ministry we have nothing to do with the fallen angels that is not to say that we do not teach about them because at least you must know their modus operandi so that if anything at all you can combat them you understand but the angels are beings of light and do not have the propensity to do evil because they fall under the unction of the supreme being of light which is god so these beings of light they work directly with god you understand uh -huh. then we have the beings of darkness and they have their own part. but in our ministry we are concerned with the beings of light so we teach people how to associate with the beings of light if you are to learn about the fallen angels which are the beings of darkness they have propensity to be doing evil then it's either to learn how to combat them but not to associate with them that is what goes on in this ministry wow that's also interesting now a lot of people uh complain about spiritual marriage i think it's becoming an issue these days you go to churches radio television you hear about spiritual marriage what is it and how does it come about yes when you go into the scripture you know that uh, in the beginning they said the children of men became so beautiful that some of these fallen angels begin to marry the children of men and this thing is repeating itself i think it was because of this the flawed issue came about but this thing is repeating itself this issue of spiritual uh, falling angels marrying people is repeating itself and one thing i realized is that once they get married to you this they, they sort of stall everything in your life everything you do doesn't seem to go right you understand and these fallen angels, they are into two. We have the incubus and the succubus. The incubus are uh, they, they are they are uh, male male demons. They are male demons, so they usually have uh, sex. You understand with uh, females. Oh, okay. And the succubus are the females, females and they also have sex. With, with the, the male uh, 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 men you see so in your dream state they come and have sex with you i've had issues where people get petrified when they, they these beings are around and it is not the best 
you understand someone once asked me a question he said during those times when the these fallen angels were marrying uh, men they were bringing forth giants and these giants were causing mayhem so where are the giants what i want to tell you is that this time around you don't see men growing but in the spirit realm these beings when they are having sex with you and you give birth to children these children become very true ones in the spirit realm they are giants because oh, the things okay. they can do even their elder folks cannot do it in the spirit realm or spiritual realm they are giants so this giant issue is that now they don't grow physically but in the spirit realm these boys these up and coming young ones who have been brought forth through this process they can go to hell and do anything you understand so uh, the incubus and the succubus they are in fallen angels that marry men and once they come into your life they will destroy almost everything that you do that's not work. some people use process of uh, deliverance to forcefully push them off and then others use other process but we also have got a process okay. whereby we touch our uh, our patient with certain things that becomes a taboo to the spirit so that the spirit can no longer come to come to you we have had success with uh, a lot of very difficult cases where the people wanted to break away from these spirits and they could not so I think that is about uh, the uh, incubus and then succubus thing, the spiritual marriage thing. But I think when you have that issue, you ought to, you need to seek for spiritual help. Wow, spiritual help. that's refreshing to hear. I'm I'm a bit curious about the spiritual giants that people give birth to when they have affairs with these fallen angels. Could it be the real, or can it account for why we have a lot of uh, children who are now engaging in rape, murder, and all sort of, because some of these vices you hear and it's just mind boggling. Yes, that's exactly what I was driving at. Because you see, some of these young fools, and especially down here in our country, you hear things that they do. and. You will be surprised. You can't even you can't dream it. How could a young boy of about 15 years, uh, how could he get that courage to get an old woman and then slash the truth? These are some of the things that we hear in the news, and it's very surprising. And these things, by the time you go into it, you see that the the, the boy himself is demonized. There's a demon. A spiritual giant. giant. Yes, it's a spiritual giant. Otherwise, it's not possible. Go even, excuse me, to kill an ordinary fowl. It's, it's, it's not a, it's a hectic job. Yeah. Eh? Right. To slash the throat of an older woman. Is it possible for a parent to detect this in his or yes, her child? The, the, the parents will. In order be, to seek because help. There are symptoms that, that you can detect. Yes. Uh, that you know, your son. Because you see, Normally, they begin to show certain behaviors which are not, excuse me, to say normal. Some type of truancy, and so type of things they begin to show. If the parents observe their children very well, they will be able to know. Except that the parents do not have the time to be uh, tracking their children. But for me, if my child begins to behave in a certain manner, you know, we know that sometimes children can be naughty. But there's some of the things that they do say, no, this one, it's not proper. Then there might be some attachment to it, so we need to have a look at it. Mm -hmm. I have one more question about angels. Yeah, um, you mentioned angels which are in charge of business and so on and so forth. If that is the case, then why do people run around instead of contacting angels to help them they run around to demons and other areas getting help and this blood money that we've heard about okay. uh, what happened is that you see it's a matter of choice we have the good part and the, uh, the bad part or evil part people choose to go this way because they feel that uh, that is where their jobs will be uh, quicker you understand 
But let me tell you, there is a principle that no demon works for free. And demons are not interested. They are only interested in your soul. If any demon works for you, it's not for free. And it is only the angels or beings of light, they work for free. If any demon works for you, there is a price to rent. And most often, I can say 99%, demons are after your soul. Apart from that, they are no longer interested in anything you will give them. You understand? So when they have worked for you, they will expect you to also fulfill the part of the bargain. So in my considered opinion, I will advise that one should search you, the demons completely, and then associate with uh, uh, the beings of light. For Jesus Christ himself, when he had fasted for 40 days, he said the angels ministered unto him. means the angels were running uh, errands for him. Though in the Bible... Uh, most of the angels' names were not mentioned. Uh, we have access to some of them, their names. Because in Judaism, you will find the names of some. And the Cat in the Catholic Church, you do have uh, names of some of these angels we can associate with. And we also know that the various days are even governed by the angels. Oh, so that's interesting. Every day has an angel ruling it. Because on can Sunday, you tell us about it? On Sunday, we have Michael. On Monday, we have Gabriel. On Tuesday, we have Samuel. On uh, Wednesday, we have Raphael. On Thursday, we have Sashiel. On Friday, we have Aniel. And on Saturday, we have Cassiel. These are the angels that govern that these particular days. Now, for every one hour, during the 24 hours, every one hour, they change. There's a shift going, they change. So, at every point in time, in our working, we know which angel is 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 is, is work is, is is on duty, and we know whom to associate with. That is how we work with them. Wow, wow, that's refreshing, Rabbi. I will ask my. I don't know whether it will be my last question yeah, though. Yeah. Uh, do we have a specific angel who is in charge of money? Uh, yes, there is a there are. A, there are angels. There are, there are plenty of angels in charge of me. Oh, okay. And we have Raziel, Pathiel, Gamaliel, Nitika, Forlak. All these angels, they are in charge of money. Oh. And they have ability to create wealth for people. Wow. Yes. So in case one contacts you, you can help yes. in that area. If you contact me, I can show you. Because you see, these angels, sometimes the mistake people do is that money will not fall from the sky. Sometimes they open the box for you, with the box. So something that you could have made money with, you did not realize they can do it. They can open opportunities for you to meet people who will usher you into wealth. You understand? They can open opportunity so that you fall into certain business line. Like one of my clients, who uh, I worked with, I use one of the world angels. Then all of a sudden, anyone, any investor who comes into the area comes to him. Any investor, when he say, "Oh, I want somebody to work, do partnership," with, they direct the person will direct him to him. So investors were coming to him just like that. So by that means, he was getting money, and his world situation changed. Uh -huh. So that is how these angels they work. But. For me, people say they, they get money dropping. I've not yet experienced it. I've been a practitioner for 30 years. Um, the angels do not have the uh, capacity to come and put the money in front of you, but they have the capacity to change your situation and put you into work. That one I can guarantee. Wow. Thank you, Rabbi. Oh, you are so Any last words? Uh, what I will say is that those who are locally, especially those uh, who are uh, in uh, in the foreign countries who want to do uh, who want spiritual coaching i'm ready to do spiritual coaching for some pastors uh, for some individuals who want to uh, grow on this path i'm ready to work for them and to hand in hand and to teach them this part of life it is a, a, a very very good part and a very very effective thing i've worked with it for 30 years and that one i can assure you that you will never regret it you ever learned this thing they are really wisdom thank you and i think in my next video we shall meet thank you and bye